you ever thought about why the weather would be bright and sunny one day and then gloomy and stormy the next? Or why the US is on the completely opposite side of the world from Australia? You may be surprised to hear that this all boils down to one process called convection current. Hi, my name is Kara and I am a science teacher on OutSchool exploring all things physics, chemistry, earth science, and many more. Convection currents is a process where warm air rises and cool air seeps. This happens over and over, creating a big cycle of warm air rising and cool air going to the bottom. It almost looks like a big circle. The main reason this happens is because warm air or liquid is much less dense than cool air or liquid. So the warm air rises and causes the cool air to be pushed downwards. Think of water and oil. If you mix those two substances together, they won't stay mixed. Water is much more dense than oil, so oil will sit on top of water. That circular motion is really strong too. It's so strong in fact that it causes our continents to be pushed and pulled every day, creating a slight movement that we can actually record year by year. Convection currents are also the reason why we see such strong storms like hurricanes. Those convection currents cause that warm air to rise and as it condenses in our atmosphere, it creates these giant, powerful storms. Convection currents can also be modeled in your home too, but don't worry, these ones won't blow you away. Here's what you're gonna need. A clear plastic or glass container, two to three ceramic mugs, and some food coloring. A few tips before we get started with this experiment. Tip number one, if you want really fast convection currents, don't add ice to your cold water, just have cold water. If you want very vibrant and elaborate convection currents, do add ice to your cold water. Just note that they will be slower. Tip number two, we are using boiling water, so you probably need an adult to help you with this. Safety first. Tip number three, Use colors that make sense. We don't want muddy convection currents. We want colorful convection currents. So choose colors that mix together well and will give you a nice, pretty color. Yay, we're now finally ready for the experiment part. Set up your cold water mugs and gently set your container filled with room temperature water on top of those. Fill your hot water mug with that boiling water and carefully slide it underneath your container. Now for the fun part, colors! I chose for today blue to go over my cold water mugs and I put one drop over each of those and I chose red for my hot water mug and I put two drops over that one. Now we wait and see the beautiful convection currents unfold. Convection currents do take a couple of minutes to get working. So be patient and have a camera ready to take pictures of the beautiful creation. currents went wild. If you notice that at the end the convection currents started to get slower and slower, 
there is actually a reason for that. As the temperature evens out, those convection currents aren't going to be working as fast as they were when we had the hot boiling water and the really cold water together. As that reaches room temperature, the convection currents just get slower. Now that you know what convection currents look like, you can start to find them in everyday things. And oftentimes they're a lot closer than you think. Take for example, the room you're in right now. It probably has some sort of air circulating in it. That's a convection current. Or if you're having pasta for dinner tonight, that boiling water is caused by a convection current. There are so many places to find them if you just observe and look around. So there you have it. When you have sunny, beautiful weather one day and dreary, rainy weather the next, you know you can blame it all on convection current. For more lessons and experiments, feel free to check me out on OutSchool and sign up for my one-on-one -on -one tutoring classes as well as my group classes. I hope you guys had fun today and happy sciencing everyone.